winter solstice is, of course, the longest night of the year. And for a growing number of Metro families, this year has been one marked with darkness as they've lost loved ones to violence during the year. Fox 4's De Dave DeMarco live at the Independence Church tonight where loved ones joined in prayer. Dave. And John, this event has been held at a trio of churches over the last, last nearly 15 years. But unfortunately for this new group of names on all these crosses, little has been able to end the cycle of violence. More than 180 crosses bearing the names of sons and daughters, fathers and mothers, all victims of violence in Kansas City, Blue Springs, Lee Summit, Raytown and Independence. Macy Tillman joined her parents remembering her brother. When he was murdered, he was at my parents' house, you know, helping them out like he always does with family. Um, and it's sad to see, you know, his name on a cross. It's not something that our family would ever have imagined for him. Um, he was a church member. It's the longest night, and every year faith leaders join to remind families the victims and loved ones aren't forgotten. As we say a lot of times, like in our faith communities, as the world gets darker, the church has to get brighter. And so we just want to be a sense of light and hope in a time of darkness. Five years ago on the longest night, Talia Page wasn't at the event. She was burying her brother, Anthony. When you lose somebody, period, it hurts. But when you lose them unexpectedly to a hand of a person who wants to play a person's maker, it's sad. But she was there tonight, along with her mom and mothers in charge, praying for everyone who watched their loved one's name scroll across the screen, offering a start to the healing process. Not that it gets easier, but um, my story helps somebody else. Somebody else helped me heal. I helped somebody else heal. Just as the rain started to fall, they gathered for a candlelight vigil. Each family saying something has to be done with 176 victims in Kansas City so far this year three shy of the deadliest year in the city's history. And while this might look like an overwhelming number of crosses, there are actually dozens more here before the event started tonight. As John, all of those families were encouraged to take their loved ones cross home with them if they chose. Truly the longest night. Dave DeMarco, live in Independence. Thanks.